Welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And we are to the left of the save point. I stopped that in the catacombs. Grab this bloodstone. This cat eye circlet. Cat eye circlet heals you with cat damage? Well, you'll see why. If a cat enemy runs into you, you'll heal from that. The bloodstone improves the healing you get from the... The Dark Metamorphosis spell. I thought, anyway, the abrupt cut uh, last episode was, I thought I could fit this in the last episode, but uh, it ended up being like 30 minutes. I guess all the underwater item getting ate up some of my time, more of my time than I thought it did, anyway. There we go. More of these pans in the asses. Take them down. Through here. Any of the other ones? I'll map out this room real quick. Well, we'll be back here again. Ow. Thankfully, I don't do that much damage. Let's just go to the right. Blood skeletons also inside Monster Vile 3s. They let you summon skeletons yourself. Is a use item? Not very useful, unfortunately. But a little further, we get something a little, a little more substantial as far as rewards go. The other thing that guarded that green tube. Back at the Colosseum. Right through here. Whoa, careful. Those things can also throw fireballs in like an upper arcing kind of attack. I'm gonna try not to let him get it off and take up too much of my time. This guy's a little more formidable, just stay far enough away. Keep slashing him. Sometimes he'll throw that disc out and we'll retract it. Here for a ballroom mask and another heart max up. Yes, yes. Another hidden wall through here. The ice brand. Okay, now I've made my way down the other way. Past the discus lord to the bottom left. Ow. Didn't think we would get that off that quickly. that. In here is... nothing. So, yeah, just map completion. I guess it was something in the Saturn version. I kinda wish I had that. I saw the Nefe key for that. It had like additional bosses and areas and stuff like that. Then again, this game came out for the... And this game got made for the PSP, I believe. So I got that. So maybe that version got it. Anyway, in here... A boss fight. Grand Faloon. I usually refer to it as Legion. Just because the bodies. <coughs> Pardon. Just gotta get past the bodies. Watch how it rains down bodies as well. And now that I got the core. Just give that a couple smacks. Watch the laser. Down it goes. Give him my HP max up. Yo, yo, yo. My life max up, as this case calls it. Make sure to do that to clear out the other corner. Slide on over. Ooh. Didn't see you there at first. Dirty pool corpse weed. Or thorn weed. Whichever one I struck at. Much better dark sword than the tear thing. I think that cut my attack. The Mormagill really wrecks enemies that are holy based. Anyway, now I gotta make my way to that little corner I left open over there and make my way to the right. I'll see you there. I forgot to pop in this room. Real quick. Another save point. For the walk armor. Very important grab. It's not much right now, but as we clear more and more of the map, the stronger this armor becomes. <sighs> Nothing hidden. Just had to clear the gremlins out. Nothing hidden in the upper right. So let's just go to the bottom. Fancy crystal in the Bible. Slimes can be tricky. Unless you got a holy weapon or something that's blunt. I 
still have the holy sword from an episode ago, so. I should be good. Make sure to knock this place out. Put on this side. Anything here? Okay, now this room. Very carefully, turn into the bat, and with triangle, use your, uh, the echo of the bat to be able to, kind of use your echolocation to be able to see here. We gotta be very careful not to touch the sides, because they are spikes, and if we touch them, we keep jumping into them, well, we'll keep being knocked into them, rather, until we die. We gotta make our way very carefully to here. Okay, once we push that down we can see. Make our way further in. The other reason I cut that off is because I actually died in that room twice somehow. Like I said. Yeah. A little more uh, touchy than I'm used to. So just be very, very cautious with that because if you touch the spikes you're pretty much dead. You won't die in one hit, it's the repeated hits over and over again you can't escape from that get you. That's a weird skeleton, but it has an extending neck. I don't... I don't quite understand this enemy. Then again, it's Castlevania, which is probably a lot of things I can't understand. Our spoils! A free library card in here. Also, our big thing is the Spike Breaker armor, which allows us to do this. <laughs> With this, no area is off limits. Hey, that reminds me. Wasn't there a big spiky room in that Royal Chapel place we couldn't get to earlier? That just happens to be our next stop in here. Is where we gotta go. Hey! Spike Breaker says fuck your shit. So I'm gonna do the miss thing. I'm trying to remember what button it was. I don't have to break them all, I'm sorry. I'm just so used to doing that. Oh, got to use the jewel of open as well. But we already had that episodes ago. Hey, it's Maria! So. Did you find Richter? I don't know if he's the one you're looking for, but I found a Belmont. Really? So he is here? But the one I saw was the enemy. He was the lord of this castle. That, that can't be true. You're wrong. I, I, I must go now. She didn't like the news of that. Anyway. Ooh, another ring. Anyway, I gotta make it back to the outer wall because we're gonna head to the, as you can see, that big empty box all the way to the right of us. The Clock Tower. I already ventured a little bit in here by mistake, so that's why the name has not shown up. Normally when you enter a new area, because it's not that new to me. Anyway. Be careful these some of these floors. Cause they like to fall down. Thankfully. Just fly up if we're stuck or do the high jump here. We do want to make sure we're on top of all this though, probably. Can get those missed? No. I can grab these items though, real quick. So yeah, if you fall to the bottom, just go to the right and get to the top, but I'll show you what's on the bottom first. Hang on, maybe I can get up this way. Ooh, good job, Sword Familiar. Yep, okay. Some of these might fall. Make sure we grab these items. New shield. New sword. Well, not so new mail. I think I'm gonna pick one up from fighting the, uh... Those ice pixies, or whatever they're called back at the underground with all the water. Whatever that's called. Anyway, we gotta fill all that out. I'll leave you to. I'll take care of that. Oh, wait, there's something up here. 
Hello. What's up here, I wonder? Why, our third and final familiar, of course. Bam. Now I can shoot fire as a, as the bat. And if I have the familiar, I'll shoot too. At later levels, you get more bats that show up that can also shoot fire. Okay, let's move on. Uh, this area of the clock tower. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty of it. And you can tell it's an actual clock tower. Because Medusa heads! Oh, they just brought us out back the other way. Okay. Alright, now the second area. Now we're joined by these harpies. Also, here are these uh, gears on the side. We want to... Hit these a bunch of times. If I can actually... Now. Listen carefully. For the... Yeah, that sound effect. The little click you heard there. That's set. There's another one here. And then there's two more in the... Ooh, almost got stabbed. Oh wait, I still have Spike Breaker on. <laughs> I didn't even forgot I still had it on. I usually switch out. But yeah, there's two other gears up here in this hallway as well. That opens this door here. I'm not going to take the time to show it off. I will, in annotations, tell you what's in there, though. Because I already got it. I already got them in another save, so I don't have to worry about it. Doing it here. So I'm just going to fly up. However, there is a... Ah. Hidden wall. Trying to break out of stone. That's what the yellow Medusa heads do to you. If they touch you. Stone's bad because again it robs you of your defense. We're gonna make our way up here. More of these forsaken flea men. Stab the shit out of you. Life max up. There should be a heart max up on the other side. Yes, indeed. Had I know. Probably because I play this game a lot. Even then, I still did remember that third part of the catacombs. It's, it's the weirdest thing. I mean, I remember that's where you gotta go, but I don't remember it being three parts. If that makes sense to you at all. Which it... It doesn't even make sense to me, and I'm the one who fucking said it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. One of these sword dudes. Take them out. But beware, because now they linger. They have these enemies. They'll drop some really nice swords for you if you're lucky. What I have should be fine enough, though. Take them out. Come on. Wait for the tin. There we go, a holy sword. Now we do have to take those, make our way to the right, but first... Okay, here was the hidden door I was thinking about, it's down here. Okay, see, I do remember. Healing Mail! Heals your HP as you walk, but it's very slow. Because it only does like one, I think it's like one HP, like every, I don't know how many steps. <laughs> it's far too long in my opinion. Here, I remember a whole bunch of hidden usable items, usable weapons. Another TNT, something here. Block a knife. Sure can. Do that real quick. Head on in here. Boss fight! Karasumen! You just hit him up and he backs into the wall. That's about it. You lose to that boss, stop playing video games. Now. Not even joking. He's easier than the succubus. And that should do for the... Oh, now we're back here again. Let's get some hidden items to get. Here real quick. Falchion. Nothing here. Save point. Over here. Oh, hey, this looks familiar. 
But there's a lot more we can reach to. Well, we could have done this as Richter too, but there wasn't any point of doing it then. There's two heart max ups and life max ups in this room. There's also the fifth and final familiar, the ghost card. Not very useful. It just like attacks enemies by leeching them, basically. Okay, just mapping out this area. Make sure to hit that, because then this opens up. Thank for her. Pop roast to turkey. Sirloin. It's like they went up from pot roast and started using this even more sensitive stuff. A lot of resistant stuff here, and the platinum mail. So you're straight ahead. Heart max up is what. Fly around till you get about to this position right here. For the power of mist. Very useful because now you can stay as mist indefinitely. It doesn't phase in and out real quick. So now we can just fly through things untouched. It does really eat up a lot of MP to do it though. Back here again now that I've mapped everything out. What's beyond this door? I've been waiting for you. So it is you. But why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity. Turn in the mist. You can dodge whatever he throws out. Uh, opening attack. Let's try that again without the uh, holy sword equipped. I wasn't doing anything to him. Now I gotta get close and do him with a knife. Ow! Okay, that hurt. Oh, that hurt too. Magnificent! But now feel my unbridled wrath. Missed again. Cause we'll open up with the hydro storm. Make it out of it. Ow. Not completely. Thankfully with my levels. Shouldn't take too much. Of course I'm getting beat on. Oh damn. Oh, what are you doing? Here, eat an axe. Ow. Oh, I ain't doing too hot. Oh crap, I can't hurt this guy with this. Break out the Mormagill! Suck it, bitch! It's over, Belmont. So, the war between humans and vampires finally ends here. What need for the Shepherd when the wolves have all gone? My time on this world has come to an end. <laughs> Mankind continues to fight, but it is a desperate fight to stay alive. I suppose that he chose a life of warfare, since that was the only way he knew. Like you, father, he chose a path of destruction. Farewell, land of my birth. Never again will these eyes gaze upon your beauty. 
Nope! You only get to see the credits when I reach 200%. For now, take one of four different endings you can get in this game. Some of you already know. But for those that don't, either way, I will see you next time on Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of Dinner.